that Maharashtra Chief Minister Eknath Shinde has said, industrialist Ratan Tata will be accorded a state funeral. And remember, this is absolutely befitting when it comes to Ratan Tata. The Maharashtra government has declared a day of mourning in the state on Thursday to pay tributes to industrialist Ratan Tata. So usually, remember, a state funeral goes to someone either associated with the forces or has been a state leader. He was definitely a leader for India. Let's listen in to what Eknath Shinde has said. एक अनमोल रत्न कहते हैं वो रहा नहीं ये भारत का कोई नूर हरपला भारत का कोई नूर रहा नहीं हमसे बिछड़ गया है ऐसा मैं कहूँगा और रतन टाटा जी हमारे में नहीं रहे ये बहुत ही वेदनादायी दुखद घटना है हमारे लिए पूरे देश के लिए पूरे देश का एक अभिमान था हमारे महाराष्ट्र का भी अभिमान था so expect that there will be a full on arrangements that will be made in kolaba in mumbai with the last rites and that will also be followed with the public viewing vidya is joining me this morning uh, vidya what kind of arrangements are we expecting in mumbai what do you think is going to play out how will the government ensure that those who want to express their tribute to him will have that opportunity Well, uh, right now we are at the residence of Ratan Tata. Right behind me here is the uh, building where he had been residing for the last many years. Uh, this was a special house overlooking the sea that uh, had been constructed by uh, the Tatas here. Uh, and uh, uh, you know, uh, his mortal remains at the present are right here. But in some time, it will be taken to the NCPA lawns where uh, uh, for uh, people to pay their last respect. Uh, you know. convey their heartfelt uh, uh, feelings for the family members uh, you know the uh, board, uh, the mortal remains will remain there for a while till around 334 when uh, finally the last journey to the crematorium at worli will take place uh, that's where the cremation with full state honor will take place at the worli crematorium later in the evening uh, that is after the entire uh, you know public uh, uh, you know paying of respects by the people in general uh, is done by later in the day so uh, there is a full fledged pan that that the, has been drawn out in consonance with the state uh, and the the family members of course uh, they know that be ratan tata being a public figure Uh, everyone would want to pay the last respects to the uh, you know corporate leader that he was so certainly uh, arrangements with the are again the same just tell me about the public day. viewing here because the viewer watching you right now in mumbai those who may just want to come and pay the last respect when is that happening and where is that happening Uh, well, uh, around 10 o'clock is what we have been given to understand. Is that around 10 o'clock the mortal remains of Ratan Tata will be taken from his residence right here to the NCPA lawn, where uh, arrangements are being made for the public viewing. And immediately after that, around uh, three to four in the evening, when the entire uh, you know uh, uh, public viewing, the paying of last respects by people in general, is done. That's when the last rites, the last journey, will be undertaken. by the tata family members uh, they will take the mortal remains of ratan tata to worli crematorium later in the evening it's around 4 to 5 uh, what we have been given to understand is when the cremation uh, in state full state honor will take place at the worli crematorium but because worli crematorium might not be a very large place where uh, you know people in general could really come in uh, in a huge numbers Correct. and that's one of the reasons why we, uh, it is expected that people would go to the ncpa lawns and uh, which is not very far from here which is near in the nariman point area and that's where uh, after the last uh, you know press have been given that's when the last journey of ratan tata will start thank you very much vidya